I first suspected I had a mouse when I started noticing that my dogs would be overly interested in certain areas of the house, especially the kitchen near the dishwasher. So I used my ring camera to confirm. I was looking for a catch and release trap and settled on a tomcat. This trap is based on a teeter design. The mouse is lured in and goes towards the back for the bait, causing the front to raise, allowing the front door to shut. The bait is placed on a back door cap that can be popped off. You can use peanut butter or your own concoction as bait, but I bought the attractant gel. Both the trap and attractant were very economical, costing about $12 together. This is the Ring Indoor Cam model. I purchased it for about $60 about three years ago. It's perfect for on-demand monitoring around the house. And as you'll see in my other videos, I use it for everything from monitoring a smoke and brisket to keeping an eye on my pets. Setting up the Ring camera for mouse hunting is pretty simple, just plug and play, but you just want to make sure the motion zones are aligned and ready. To set it up, launch the Ring app and select your camera feed. Hit the settings icon. It's the little gear wheel on the upper right hand corner. Scroll down to the motion settings and click on edit motion zones. Click in the blue area and use the transform handles to modify the detection area. That's it, you're set. The camera detected the mouse movement very well. It was very leery about the trap, and it ran around for about an hour before going near it. It was attracted to the bait, and I had put a little piece of baked parmesan in the middle of the trap, just in case. But it worked, an hour after setting the trap, the mouse was caught. Here's a view of the trap with the mouse inside. It makes for easy transport and the trap door is really secure. When I checked the back door cap, it was really snug. I took the mouse to a desert park for release. Here it is again in case you didn't see it, because he's really fast. Hope this helps. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments. I sometimes do video responses to your questions so others can benefit as well. Thanks, stay safe, and God bless.